Alfred Castillo here, the Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. I wanted to show you today how to install these adjustable barb emitters. Let's get started. I've got four different little barb emitters here. First, let's install them and then we'll see what they do. I'm gonna make a hole in this half inch poly tube with my Pro Punch. Usually, you'll be greeted by a little pop sound when you insert the barb. That means the emitter is embedded correctly. Now let's do that three more times. Now, let's put a little pressure through here and see what we've got. The first emitter here is a 360 degree stream bubbler. Next, we have a 180 degree stream bubbler, followed by an umbrella bubbler and a vortex. Just for fun, let's install a button emitter so you can see the difference in coverage area. As you can see, a drip emitter like this button dribbles down to one little spot where these adjustable emitters cover a larger area. So you can decide what's best based on the needs of your particular plants. Another way to use barb emitters is installing them on a stake and riser. The riser will accept any quarter inch barbed emitter. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything for your irrigation needs so that your trees, lawns, flower beds and gardens are lush and beautiful. And if you have any questions about our products, just give us a call or chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the most out of our user-friendly Shop and Compare web store. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Alfred Castillo, your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro.